Formula E is a highly competitive, fully electric racing series. 22 world-class drivers and 11 teams, including some of the world's biggest manufacturers, battle it out wheel-to-wheel -wheel on the streets of iconic cities. Racing at speeds of up to 280 km per hour and accelerating from 0 to 100 in just 2.8 seconds. The 45-minute plus one-lap race format produces high-intensity racing, with teams and drivers battling on a level playing field, thanks to identical batteries, tyres and aerodynamics. Unique features like attack mode and fan boost makes Formula E anything but a traditional motorsport. And for the 2022 season, the cars have an extra 20 kilowatts of power to play with, meaning faster and more furious battling, but still with the crucial need for teams and drivers to manage energy efficiently and strategically to finish the race and secure victory. This is the pinnacle of electric racing. This is Formula E. For Season 8, a new qualifying format will see the fastest drivers going head-to-head -head in a one-lap shootout to decide the Julius Baer pole position. A group stage will see two groups of 11 drivers get a 12-minute session to set lap times, with the fastest four from each group progressing into a knockout stage, where drivers will go head-to-head -head over one flying lap. Starting with the eight fastest drivers facing off in the quarter-finals, the fastest in Group A going against the four fastest in Group B, the fastest in Group B going against the four fastest in Group A, and so on. Those quickest will progress into the semi-finals and onto the final, leaving one final pair battling for the Julius Baer pole position and three championship points. The winner and runner-up will start on the front row, with the semi-finalists on the second row. Quarter-finalists filling the spots between fifth and eighth based on lap times, and the remaining positions also ranked by lap time and which qualifying group they started in. Attack mode, is Attack mode is an extra power mode that gives drivers an additional 30 kilowatts of power after driving through an activation zone off the racing line. Attack mode on. It's risk versus reward, as drivers might lose time or positions initially, but the added power gives them the chance to make them and more positions back and move themselves up the order. The additional power lasts for a set period of time. This duration and the number of activations required changes from circuit to circuit, with the teams only provided with this information on race day. Attack mode is a fundamental part of race strategy in Formula E, and all drivers have to use it. But the decision on when to activate can be the difference between disaster and winning the race. Fan Boost gives you the chance to vote for your favourite driver to unlock a short 5 kilowatt boost of power that can be used to help them make a critical overtake or defend against the cars behind. Good job, good job, keep energy under control. The five drivers with the most votes will unlock the extra power boost to be used in the second half of the race by pressing a button on their steering wheel. But who gets Fan Boost is up to you. We go for plan A, plan A, you have Fan Boost. You can make your votes ahead of each race on the Formula E website.